hoodie on. A bit fleecy. Am I heated? Body warmer under it. Um, oh, so as you can possibly tell, I'm currently out walking Rash the Nash. And it's, uh, you know, we're not... Oh, God, I'm very rasher. I had rain for a while, and in my hand, I have Christmas cards. And the Christmas cards, hang on a minute. I'm trying to get it in, in the post box without showing addresses. Come on, Russia. <laughs> this dog is just going to stay here for like 10 minutes now, sniffing. Right, what are you doing? Come on. So, <laughs> if you're newish here and you want to get a Christmas card from us and a erstwhile campsite warden sticker or a mug and you live in the UK, um, can't really ship abroad because of the postage cost, but if you are interested in one, then do check out the links in the description below um, is where you can put an order in and we'll get things posted out to you. I have just had another little batch of mugs printed up as well. Uh, the first three lot, I think it is, um, all sold out. So, a morning walk with Rash and I've got a day at home on my own. Sun is at work. Um, so I'm gonna be doing some sort of fried rice this afternoon and I've got some chicken left over so I'm going to do a chicken korma so Lee's going to try a chicken korma and I'm going to do a big wok of fried rice egg fried rice uh, at some point and then I'm also either today or tomorrow grass cutting what on earth are you doing? Hmm? You just don't want, you don't want to have a walk this morning, do you? Do you want to have a walk or not? Yeah? No? just going to just... I'm not going to have a walk, you're just going to see what other dogs have been about, have you? Hmm? Oh, wait. So, just really blessed to have a couple of minutes walk from where we live. Um, this sort of uh, shortcut over the fields and everything. And it's only another... It's only five minutes, really. Ten minutes maximum walk by the river if we wanted to and I'm trying to still get my body clock out of working hours I'm trying to not wake up in the mornings as a when I can be having a bit of a lie in and things like that it's sort of strange I almost feel like I've been conditioned for the last few years and uh Anyway, we'll be seeing where we go going forward. Right, enough of me waffling on. Let's uh, let's get Rasha walk. You're getting an old girl, Rasha, aren't you? Hmm? You're going to be a little old lady, eh? Hey? You're going to be a little old lady. Rasha is more excited. She knows after she's had a walk when we come in, she gets a treat. And, and right, what are you doing now? What are you doing? What are you doing? Not a treat. There you go. How's that? Uh, right, yeah. So. Rice cooker, um, that's been used lots of times and Sandra has been using it loads. Um, so that was a product review that we did. You need to go back, if you're looking for a rice cooker, that has been really, really, really good. And I've actually done a lot of um, rice. So if you look, it's all non-sticky, it's non-gloopy. Um, and that was cooked yesterday. So the best way to get your fried rice is by leftover rice, believe it or believe it not. Rice that's been left overnight and cooled down. So uh, way too early to be doing uh, to be doing that. At the moment, it's still 11sies rather than um, tea time. Uh, what am I doing now? I'm trying to get... I'm a man of routines. And I've got things to do. Sorry, I've got some furniture ordered that needs to come for me to assemble so I can put some things away. Uh, and not being in a routine, it, it does my head in. Anyway, we'll find something to oh, do. Russia supervising me. <laughs> kiln dry sand. Fine kiln dry sand, suitable for finishing, block paving, 
patio slabs and joins so if you've been watching the vlogs for a while you will remember we did a lot of jet washing um it was a few weeks ago now and we bought up loads of moss on our um flag zones so we've got these big gaps here and what we want to do is we don't want to have moss growing back up although we still have got some here which is going to need to be hand gouged out the uh, jet washer didn't pull that out or treated and um, but basically what we're doing now can we do this uh, thing but we're just pulling the sand in to um to fill in the gaps and shortly you'll see everything will start to look a lot neater as we work our way along here there no, you won't see much of a difference uh, on the little camera. Asha, are you been are you bossing it? Are you supervising? Are you supervising? Um, all the gaps and cracks are all sort of filled in, and all down there. So I'm going to put the sand into the garage, keep it dry, and then what we need to do is wait for a very very rainy, stormy day, and wash it all away. Repeat, wait for another stormy, rainy, rainy, washy, wishy, washy day. Repeat, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's yeah, progress. Another little job out of the way. So it's, it's just in the garage at the moment. So, so we'll, I'll take you in in a minute. Um, crap drawers, <laughs> going back ages. Uh, we mentioned um, when we were back living in Manchester, our kitchen had a crap drawer just full of crap. And this kitchen we've got, We've got lots of cupboards, but very, 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 very few drawers. But some of you will remember, so this is over here in this corner at the moment, this little kitchen island that we bought, um, which is full of, don't know what it's full of, Sandra's things by the looks of it. Um, and we've now got officially one, two, and a bit crap drawers why do, why do we collect packing tape and a bit of gaffer tape and cellar tape and a bit of old tenacious tape and shoelaces and string and non, normally full of um normally full of menus any anyway, of our menus currently that we've got for local takeaways and places like that are on our notice board and the reason why <laughs> I've just gone off on a complete tangent. Oh, hello, Rash, you like you you like sitting out here, don't you, Rash? You're quite happy sitting out here, aren't you, watching the world go by? Um is because for the last six months or so our garage has just been a well you've seen you've seen what's been going on. Um it's gone from having loads of space with nothing in here and then being emptied and then filled and emptied and filled and emptied and filled and sorted and not sorted uh and then when sandra came over basically we just rammed things in cupboards and so that surface over there basically i want that as a worktop uh, and as you say there's all bits on there at the moment so i'm just going to try and sort my shelving out into screws nails and bits and stuff like that and then another one that i'm going to possibly just do is bits of tools and screwdrivers and that's me jigsaw and then um because we've got leftover stuff from decorating we need to find homes of that but i just went came into this cupboard here oh, man, what's that mountain tape um no, oh, I remember what this is. That's from the dishwasher, isn't it? Anyway, I've just I just found some rolls of cellar tape in here, so um, that's how come I've ended up going on a complete tangent. Oh God, here it is. Uh, and then obviously we've now got the goba in here. And then oh, what we we bought the other day? We were out Spilsby. We bought a massive, great, big, like the size of this, size of this. Um, great huge one uh heavy truty junk it's got it's on wheels and everything and what we're going to do there we are going to fill that up with um go away things that we don't know whether they're going to fit in the go i've no idea when we're going to put the gober up uh so say sandra's back um 
Sandra's Sandra's now back back working, so it's my turn to get everything up. And it's not long before I'm gonna have to bring the Christmas boxes down, isn't it? Look at the Christmas tree and some decorations that we've got left over. Anyway, enough of me going on, I need to start sorting. Alright, so these couple of old bird boxes, I'm gonna go and mount on a fence post near our patio area. So that one there with a big slot on it, that's good for such things like robins. And then these are sort of more for tits, but you can on some of these bird boxes, if you do buy them, you can remove this. So if you did want to attract robins, it can go into here. And then they need to be mounted um, either on towards the north or east side of um, a property. And so I've just had my compass out and I'm going to mount them I was going to mount them on the back, so if you remember, up here, we have got these all being well for swallows at the back. I'm going to go and mount these over near the fence post um, where we've got some bushy type stuff growing. So, get a little drill and go mount the bird boxes up for the winter. Fingers crossed, ready for the spring. Grass is growing nicely. Remember all that was just a big pile of mud? Do you remember when we had the mini digger in? Look out, look at how oh, that's all greening up. I am going to possibly next give the grass a cut. Uh, right, so back of where we are. So we've got this beautiful hedge here, which is... So, that, so we've inherited a birdhouse. I've got no idea whether anything's ever actually lived in that. I've got no idea. There's Tanner. So this thing, I think we got this from Lidl. Um, I've just mounted onto the fence in here, so it's got lots of camouflage. Then we have our bird tables here, so these have always got birds in. And then this is sort of facing north, so all being well, we've got one there, and we've got that one there. Um, so who knows? Come springtime, we'll be be having babies. Um, we've definitely got sparrows um, in here and we've also got a robin that I've seen a few times and for some reason we've also got lots of starlings but starlings don't seem to be in our garden oh, sure how are you grass cut <laughs> will it be the grass cut the, the last the grass cut of the year uh, so um, I've got that done. It might sound a bit silly, but raised up the push-on mower, self-propelled self mower, I should say, and um, you can possibly see now. It's down there. I've just kept these borders clear. What sand has been planting up, um, and down there, and down there, and down there. That's all done. Uh, Full. So that's done. I've got to get some a uh, uh, ton of topsoil ordered, and then looking down on our property, done the bank. Um, so I put these little posts in now with reflectors in, which we've ordered, and all down there has been done. And does our garage look any? <laughs> this is not going to look any different, is it? This is this is not going to look any different to, to to you watching this out here now. But um, sorry, I've sorry. It will. Hang on a minute. I need to put some tools away. Hang on. I was sorry. I was just building. Um, I was just repairing the uh, the nest boxes. Let me let me put these tools away. There it is. Right. Does it does it does it? <laughs> Does it look any tidier? This is this is Sandra's side all over here. That's all all Sandra's. Um, I've got these two crates to go through. Uh, but basically, so I've got um, I'm touching up some paint inside. We had a, a leak on a tile. Um, I think Sandra mentioned on one of her vlogs. Um, so just touching that up now. It's going to need a few coats, but it is somewhat tidier, uh, I think. Men in their sheds. Goodness gracious me. 
Right, that's done. Give me while he's off. Right, so a bit of a, a, bit of a weird combination you're going you're gonna to be saying to yourselves. A bit of a weird combination. Right, I'm actually doing a chicken korma. Um, Lee's going to try. Lee's not really a, a curry person, but he said he wants to try a korma. So that's with some um, filleted chicken that I've fried up. I've just some fresh garlic and spring onions, some turkey sauce, and then some dark soy sauce, and some rice that was cooked last night. So I'm just going to fry up now, and then I'm going to get some of the sauces in. Then I'm going to get some egg in, and I'm going to do some. So last, last night we had a roast chicken for our dinner. So I've got some chicken left over from the roast chicken last night. So that's going to go in as a chicken egg fried rice. But what I'm going to do, because Lee does not like peas. <laughs> if you get him a, um, a chicken fried rice from a takeaway, he sits there and he individually pulls out a pea by pea. So I'm going to do this in two batches. I'm going to do some without um, peas and I'm going to do some with peas. And we'll see where we go from there. So that's um, peeless. So it's got some spring onion, the fresh garlic. I don't know whether you can see the little bits of chicken all in on the um, here at the minute. I love cooking on the wok. Such a quick and easy thing to do. But the best way to keep it. So you've got fluffy rice is to make sure it's cold rice. That's preferably being cooked the day before. Chicken corn makes a cheap sauce, so um, yeah, not, nothing spectacular with that. So I'm just going to get the egg and sort of uh, cook in here. I can see how the egg's starting to take now. So I'll do that before we mix it all in. And then I'm going to decant some of this into a separate pan for Lee. And then me and Sandra, as I say, we are going to add some... Um, we are going to add some peas. And there you go. Homemade chicken fried rice with peas. Still very grey. But there again, it's that time of year. Some people go into a little bit, not, not a lot, but a few people go into a bit of a kerfuffle when I did the um, the new erstwhile campsite warden logo. So there was branded Neil and Sandra. And then on the left of the caricatures that I had produced, there was Sandra. And then I was on the other side. So, the problem then was, was the text along the top read Neil and Sandra. Sandra was underneath the name Neil, and I was under the name of Sandra. Now, that's, I didn't think that was a, a big thing. It was just like, Sandra, uh, Neil and Sandra. <laughs> but the characters showed Sandra under my name and me under her. Anyway... And I've let it run for a while. I've had stick stickers printed and mugs printed and all the rest of it because uh, I just thought it was quite funny. <laughs> it didn't really bother a lot of people, but just 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 one or two people. Anyway, <laughs> I've been just playing around with um, Adobe Illustrator, and I thought, you know what, I better change this around a little bit. So, um, hence you've got the logo overlaid on here, and. Um, Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, all being well. That'll now please some people. They got very confused to why it said Neil and Sandra. But Sandra was there and I was there, but now I'm there and Sandra's there and stuff like that. Anyway, what a grey, what a grey waffle old video this has been. Um, I think I'll end it here. <sighs> No, I'm to go to work. I'll think about work. What a absolute relief. 
<laughs> Keep smiling, take care and look after yourselves.